Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm just gonna do a full face of trying new to me makeup. These products in this particular video, they're not new to the market. And basically what this is, this is my personal therapy session because I have been getting a little bit overwhelmed with all of the new releases, which is really exciting. But then I actually have been, you know, receiving products and ordering products also on the side that don't get any love or don't get to get tried because obviously the new stuff is the stuff that I'm going to post about and with, with me working I'm just not wearing as much makeup which I know is a bit counterintuitive but I'm a PE teacher I don't wear makeup to work so I'm just trying new product after new product and there's been a lot of products that I've either bought or received that have been kind of sitting on the back burner waiting to get tried so this is me forcing myself <laughs> to try those products now I will have a haul coming up of the newer makeup that I've purchased because obviously my channel is mostly about what's new on the market and helping you guys but we're gonna relax we're gonna take a step back and I'm just gonna try some products that I've been wanting to play with yeah let's get going so, first thing I made an order I made a few orders off of Octoly recently it seems like they've been getting better stuff if you don't know what Octoly is basically if you are a creator you sign up and then you can pick out certain packages or items that you want to try and they will send them to you in exchange for an honest review if you're a newer creator and you know you don't have a lot of money I always recommend Octoly so I ordered this Lila B a glow skin prep set which is amazing so excited that I got this sent to me but I've been using the aglow cleansing butter for a while now so this as you can see I've used numerous amounts of times so you can use this for multiple things it's a lightweight butter to oil facial cleansers that melts away makeup and impurities and you can use it as a skin cleanser a mask they said I've been using it as kind of a double cleanse kind of thing so I'll take off my makeup and then I'll use this just to make sure all that makeup's off before I actually use my cleanser the only thing I don't like about this is it does hurt the eyes it's kind of like minty and if it gets in your eyes it's really irritating so I can only use this on my skin which I think is weird for a skin product I think it should be sensitive for the eyes this is not I wouldn't repurchase this but I have been using it as my double cleanse and it's been fine for that but again I would prefer something that's more sensitive to the eyes also in that set we have the aglow priming oil and the aglow face mist so we're gonna try both of these today I haven't tried these but this brand is so luxurious Ugh, I'm so excited. So I'm going to start off with the Aglow Face Oil. And this is what it looks like. Ooh, I might have put too much on. It has like a eucalyptus smell. I'm dead. <laughs> I said it smelled like eucalyptus. I definitely don't know what eucalyptus smells like. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that on the skin. So it is an oil-based primer. So it does feel a little bit oily on my skin. I definitely put way too much of that on. Because it's an oil, I do need to wait a little bit for the oil to absorb into my skin before I put makeup on. But it does feel really nice. But I don't normally like waiting after I apply my makeup. So I don't know about that. So I'm gonna try a new foundation. I love little foundation samples, you guys. I try them all the time. And the one that I want to try today is the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Natural Glow Foundation. This is a fairly new foundation. I'm gonna mix 2.5 and 5.5. I believe I'm like 4.5 normally in the brand. So I haven't tried this. I'm really excited. We love foundation samples here. So I have so many foundation samples that I could try, but I never do. I always forget. So today I made the effort to pull out some of my foundation samples. So I'm gonna start off by spreading some of 5.5, which honestly, I think I'm just gonna use 5.5 and not bother mixing the other color. This is fine. It's like a half a shade too deep probably, but when you blend it in actually, that's really good. Ooh, this is a really pretty consistency as well. It is a more of a natural finish and you're not getting too much coverage. I would say light to medium coverage, probably just light, honestly. Oh, and it's actually got a pretty natural glow to it. So here is what one quick layer of that is looking like, and 5.5 is actually pretty darn close of a match. That looks really gorgeous and glowy. Ooh, 
So I'm putting on a second layer. I'm just trying to finish up what was in this packet. So based solely on initial application, I really like how this foundation looks. This is like a great everyday work foundation. Very natural, very glowy, and I think the primer works very well with it as well. Okay, so we're gonna move on to eyebrows. I don't have a new eyebrow pencil, but I do have a newish one. This is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. Of course, this isn't a new product, but I've used it twice now, and I really, really like it. I did a sponsorship a few weeks ago with e.l.f., and this is one of the items that I chose to feature in the sponsorship just to try out, and I was really impressed by it, and I'm just gonna use it today. I still am really liking it. I think it's a really nice, easy-to-use pencil. It's only a couple of bucks, you guys. So if you're looking for a nice, affordable brow pencil, because we all go through them like water if you use them every day, this is really good, and it's a super nice color. Gives me a really easy, nice, natural-looking brow. In some ways, I prefer it to my Benefit or my ABH, just because it's that quick and easy to use. It's not quite as a defined tip as what I normally use, but for every day, just kind of throw on a brow purposes, it actually makes application faster just to get a quick fill in. So Grande Cosmetics was kind enough to send me this huge package of items, and they are items that I chose out. I really get to dive into the brand for this video. So these are items that aren't new, so I didn't really feature them ever before, and I don't really think I have an opportunity to. So in this video, I'm trying out a lot of the products that I got sent because I've been really dying to. So this is the Grande Cosmetics Grande Brow Fill Volumizing Brow Gel. And this has brow boosting peptides and fibers. So it's supposed to help your eyebrows grow and then it's supposed to like create fibers. I got mine in the shade dark and we're just going to use that to set my brows in place. What I like so far about this is that it didn't glob up too much product, so it's not making too much of a mess. Sometimes these colored brow gels can be a hot mess. This one's not that bad. You still have to be careful, but I feel like it really did kind of separate my brows and make them look fibrous. Like you see that? They really defined each hair. I'm making a little bit of a mess, but nothing bad. This I think actually might be really good for that feather brow trend. I'm personally not so into that look, but oh, I think I like this. Obviously I'm gonna need to use it more, but so far I like how it made my brows look. I didn't have a brand new concealer. I'm going to use the Believe Beauty concealer in light beige. So I had always wanted to try Believe Beauty, but I never really shopped at Dollar General and that's where they have this. When I was in a Dollar General a few weeks ago, I picked up this the foundation and the powder and I've been using it. So that's why this isn't brand new to me. I don't really like this concealer if I'm being honest. I just feel like the coverage disappears. There's little to no coverage and I layer it on and layer it on and I feel like the coverage doesn't build. So for a quick just brighten up the under eyes kind of deal. The concealer is fine, but if you're looking for any sort of coverage, don't expect that from this because it's not even gonna build up at all, but it's okay. The foundation, I didn't use it in today's video, but I think that one is good. I don't think it's great, but it's a nice, decent foundation and it wears really well. So that's what I like about it most is how it looks after I've worn it for a while. And I'm gonna use the translucent matte blur loose powder from Believe Beauty as well. Just gonna use that to set my under eyes. I don't like really care for this powder. I don't think there's anything special about this. I would say from what I've tried from this line, the foundation is definitely the best part. And then the Concealer and powder just aren't my favorite and for some reason this like darkened my under eyes. <laughs> okay Ooh, I didn't want to put too much powder on my cheek, but whoops. That's okay Picking my refer 18 brush and I'm also just gonna pat that in the center of my forehead because this foundation is quite glowy So I like a glowy foundation But I do like to set even glowy foundations just because if they start off glowy you're gonna end super glowy um so sometimes you know you really do need to mattify it before i did not have any new bronzers i feel like for a while bronzers were the only thing coming out but i'm quickly just using my makeup forever profusion bronze right here just to add a little bit of sculpting to the face and i'm using my sonia g worker fan brush this is so beautiful for bronzing and sculpting the face at the same time i love it it's so versatile so let's move on to eyes so i have a lot of new eyeshadow palettes that i need to try out but there still are some older palettes that i purchased 
list and I haven't yet got to try out. So I really have been wanting to try out this Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo palette. It's just the most adorable palette ever, you guys. I have been dying to use this. It's just with all of the new palette releases, I haven't gotten the opportunity to pull it out because it is an older palette. So I'm going to use it today. I'm really excited. So I'm going to quickly put on just a touch of my Kaleidos Tone Activator for a little bit of a nice base. Excuse the fact that I'm about to butcher these names. We're going to start off with Kakigori. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna get these names right at all. I'm using a Wayne Goss number three brush and this is just a nice bright mint shade and we're gonna start that off as our transition. This is a bit of a powdery formula. I have some a lid topper quad from them but this is my first actual like palette with different textures and finishes that I've ever tried from this brand. It is an indie brand and they have such gorgeous palettes. They're based on um, where the owners have traveled. Like they go and travel and they use the colors and things they are for inspiration for their palettes. It's a really cool story. I recommend you take a look. It's very interesting and I look like a crazy person. We're gonna take some of Takenaku Zoku. <laughs> this shade right here. I'm, I'm done trying with these names you guys. That one was just funny. So I'm gonna put this in the middle of the crease right here. So we're adding a nice fun lilac -y pop. I would say from the first two shades that I've used, they are are pulling a bit lighter than they look in the pan especially this purple shade right here they're still working very well like they're blending out really nice and that purple shade actually did build up some depth right there let me put a little bit more of the mint now we're gonna take now is forever this is a Wayne Goss number four brush so you're gonna get very pastel kind of looks with this palette it's not going to give you a lot of depth this palette's not trying to do that it's about kind of these cotton candy pastel colors which is so fun this is a perfect spring palette I wanted this in the spring and then it sold out so as soon as it became available again last month I swiped it up because I'd been yearning for this palette so this is one that I've been having my own on for a while so I'm so excited to finally be able to use it as you can see this color is turning out a bit lighter on the eyes than it looks in the pan but you can get such a cool look so this whole bottom row is just incredible I don't even know where to go I think we're gonna use this well we're gonna start off with that I don't know I think if I put glitter glue down I'd get more of a crazy fun effect but I'm just gonna use a finger so this is a little bit more sheer than it looks but it's gorgeous oh my gosh wow i am a fan of this palette i think if you use a glitter glue with this it would knock your socks off we're gonna use a dark purple one now and these feel really nice and smooth so this one has definitely more of a purple tone to it. These are shades where the impact is going to be made when light hits it. It's not meant to have a very strong base to it. It's about that finish. It's more so of a lid topper. So I think now that I'm more familiar with how this formula is going to work, I can definitely create some cooler looks with this in the future. I'm going to use the blue shade all along my lower lash line. And now we're going to take this shade right here and I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight. So I definitely don't think that this palette is perfect. There are ways that I would have to change how I apply shadows to make this work at its best. I would say definitely utilize white bases with this because it is more so of a pastel palette and then also sticky bases. So if you have like the P. Louise base or a glitter glue, especially with the bottom row, definitely utilize those. This is a gorgeous palette. I love the color story of this. But it does take a little bit of practice and like I said, now that I know how these shadows work, I feel like the next time I create a look, it can be much more beautiful. So this palette definitely has potential to create some stunning looks with it, but it does have to be worked with. So just keep that in mind, there could be a bit of a learning curve to this palette. Before I move on to liner and lashes, let's do some blush. So I got a couple of these Grand Pop Plumping Liquid Blushes from Grande cosmetics like I said you'll see their products pop in and out throughout this video because they were so generous with their package to me these are probably the product that I was excited about the most from the brand because these look really stunning so these are liquid blushes I love me 
a liquid blush. So the two colors that I have here are Sweet Peach and Mauve Sickle. And I think I'm gonna use a lighter one, which is Mauve Sickle, just for this look. How do I wanna do this? Should I do it like this? Wow, this is really, really light. If you have a very light skin tone, you actually might really love this blush, especially if liquid blushes scare you. This is a really good color for you. I don't know if this picked up my foundation. Hold on. And this isn't one of the liquid blushes like the Selena Gomez, the Rare Beauty one. That one is packed with pigment. This one is very user-friendly. Like you can apply a lot. Maybe it's just with this color. This color is very light. For all of my very fair girls, you might really love this color. And it's blending out like a dream. Do you guys see how effortless that's applying? <gasps> Whoa. I feel like it might have picked up my foundation a little bit on this side, but for some reason, it was just so seamless on this side. Okay, wow, I really like this. It applies super easily. It seems to be very beginner friendly because it's very, very forgiving. Oh, wow. I'm impressed with that. They also had some liquid highlighters, but y'all know how me and liquid highlighters don't get along. So I just have that. <laughs> That's super. Wow, I think so far this is like the most standout product of the video thus far. Wait, my cheeks are feeling tingly. Is that supposed to happen? I feel a tingle on my cheeks. A plumping liquid blush. It's infused with a rapid skin lifting system to firm and tighten fine lines. It's not unpleasant, but I feel something. This is weird. Okay, um, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I'll get back to you, but let's move on to liner lashes and all of that. I have a couple of weird things to try <laughs> So look at this. This is the grande lash lift Heated lash curler a heated lash curler. I had to charge it. It's charging on the wall right now I'm gonna try that. I also have this grande primer pre mascara lengthening and thickener I think I'm gonna skip on this today actually since I'm doing falsy so I'm gonna put that back but I also have these interesting products from a brand called silly George I've never heard of this brand before a PR company sent me a box of brands just like random brands products and this was in the box and it looks very interesting this is a lash adhesive eyeliner so it's where you line the eyes and you're supposed to be able to just stick the lashes to it and it came with these lashes these look quite natural very pretty i don't know how to go about this i don't know if i've let it charge up long enough but this is the grande lash lift and this is what it looks like how does it work? Okay, so I just pressed it and this happened. Choose from two temperature settings by pressing the oval indicator. Once for low or twice for high. If desired, apply your mascara of choice while the curl heats up. Rest the curler near the lash base and slowly move, pull upwards along the lashes for at least 10 seconds for a beautifully upswept curl. Repeat as necessary. May be used with or without mascara gonna wait for this to heat up I guess and then I also have to try this weird liner bond okay so while that's heating up the liner adhesive is telling me to trim my lashes prior to applying the liner because you want to apply this quick why do I feel like this is a 2014 video of like trying weird makeup I'm not this kind of person I don't do trying weird products testing weird products these are really natural lashes by the way they ain't gonna give me much I don't know about how this final makeup looks gonna go and by the way my cheeks are still burning. Burning's a strong word. It's tingling. My, my cheeks are tingling. It's like what you feel on your lips when you use a lip plumper, but it's my cheeks. It's weird. I kind of like it though. Oh, it kind of feels warm now. I mean, let's try it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it is warm. That, that did nothing. I feel like you could burn your eyes. Now keep in mind, my lashes are super duper straight, so. <laughs> but it's not doing anything. So I waited longer this time because it told me to wait till 10 seconds.
You guys, I had really high hopes for this, but straight up, it's just not working. I will say I have very, very, very straight downwards facing lashes, so that might be our problem here because it's warm, like it's working. I feel the warmth on my eyes kind of scaring me, honestly. I'm trying, I wanted this to work so bad. I thought this could be the answers to my prayers to give me lashes. I just don't see how this contraption could work anyways. Because all it's telling you to do is just lift your lashes and heat them. Like, you're not actually giving them a bend or anything, if that makes sense. Actually, that they are like a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more lifted. Unfortunately, this did not work out for me. I was very curious about it though. This along with the blushes, I was super excited about, but it didn't work out for me. My cheeks are still tingling and this video has gone a very weird direction i'm applying a quick layer of mascara like super quick this is the extent to which my lashes got curled i'm gonna let you be the judge of that okay so friends so now it's time to move on to the silly george liner bond and it's set to shake well i feel like my channel was never gonna turn to this direction of trying weird things i feel like i'm just trying weird things it's tips best tips are like to apply the liner and then pop the lash on as quick as possible. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have hooded eyelids though. So as a liner, this is not very black. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it's patchy. Oh, I'm so mean. Let's see if the actual adhesive part works though. Okay, it's sticking. This corner isn't though. Let me, let me put on the other side really quickly and then I'll tell you what I think. So the lashes are sticking. Half the battle here is I just don't like the lash style. They're too natural. And the problem with this pen is it's just not black enough. Also, oh, and it's poking me in the eye. Ouch. It's just not black enough. So my suggestion would be to put a liquid liner down first and then use this on top if you don't want to play with glue. Like I said, the lash is sticking. I don't know how this would do with a thicker band lash, but I don't like this lash style. But with a thinner lash band, it's sticking, but it actually is peeling in the corners here. <laughs> so these weird gimmicky products were like gimmicky. Let's move on to lips. I have a couple Grande Cosmetics lipsticks to try. So these are their regular lipstick formula, but I think they're supposed to make my lips tingle and pump. I kind of like the tingly feeling. I know some people are against that. Obviously, if you don't like the tingly feeling, you're not going to like their products at all like my my cheeks are still tingling a little bit but i picked out two colors and they are, are in very nice packaging so this first one look how pretty that is that is all natural oh oh my gosh i'm liking these lipsticks so far and this next one is mauve along Ooh, oh. they don't smell very pleasant though they smell like if you've ever tried their lip products before they smell like their lip products i don't know which color i should use i'm gonna try mauve along so you're gonna get the tingly feeling so if you don't like the plumping experience you won't like this brand. Like, that's just how it is. But I really like, so far, the, their lipstick formula. It's very pigmented. I like the minty feeling personally. I like the colors that these satin lipsticks have. They're very pretty, very smooth, very easy to apply. Now, does it actually plump my lips? Not really. So, last product in this video is from Bite Beauty. And I also got this from Octoly. So, they did send it to me, but it's the new Bite Beauty lip gloss formula. I've used this a couple of times. This is the Yay Sayer Plumping Lip Gloss in Rose Meringue. And it's a really pretty rose color with some gold sparkles in it. Very interesting packaging. So, it actually has kind of their lipstick top. And it's not a doe foot lip gloss. It has this like hard lipstick shake. And you do this and the product comes out. I find it to be kind of uncomfortable. Like, what is nice though, compared to a regular lip gloss, is when you apply it straight over your lipstick, it's very easy to just clean the top so you're not contaminating the lip gloss that's inside like you would with a doe foot. So I do like that. This smells like a chai tea latte, which I love chai tea. So I like the way it smells. I do like the gloss, like I'm happy I have this, but I probably wouldn't purchase another one because the top's kind of weird. Okay, we're gonna finish up with the last product, which is the last thing from the Lila B set, and this is the Aglow Face Mist. This is quite popular. A lot of people love it, so let's give it a try. Hmm. 
it feels nice and refreshing. I think this is a bit of a pricey face mist and obviously I can't really tell from one mist if it makes much of a difference but it feels really nice on the skin and it smells quite luxurious. All right so I'm gonna get myself together. My lashes are coming off. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Why? Okay, one second. All right, you guys. I was gonna film a haul after this. That's not happening anymore. <laughs> Not with my face like this. This goes to show that makeup doesn't always turn out the way that you want it to, even the most skilled of people. I do have videos that happen like this occasionally, especially when it comes to testing new products. I do want to give you kind of a quick final thought. I am liking the Lila B products. I don't think they're the end all be all, but I have been enjoying them. The packaging is so luxurious. I don't think anything is great thus far from what I've tried, but I also don't think anything is bad. The Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Foundation is actually one of my favorite products that I've tried in this video. I feel like it looks very natural on the skin. It's settling in very pretty. It is kind of going into my lines though a little bit already, but for the most part, this feels like a very comfortable, lightweight, everyday foundation that I am enjoying. The e.l.f. Brow Pencil I've been loving. Grande Volumizing Brow Gel, I think, is really, really nice. I love the way that it made my brows look. It just separated them. The Believe Concealer is not that gray. It's just okay. Same with the Believe Pelt. Powder. The Nomad Cosmetics palette I think is nice, but I definitely think it needs some help to get it to its full potential. So just applying it dry to the eye is not really going to give you much unless you want like a nice light wash like this. And there is a time and a place for a look like this, but definitely to get the full potential of the colors that you see in the palette, it's going to take work. I definitely am on the fence about these Grande pop plumping lip lashes my cheeks are kind of tingling and i i like it like i don't mind it but also is it supposed to feel like this so this brand is supposed to basically make your skin tingle and if you don't like that you won't like this especially if you have sensitive skin the product itself is beautiful lightweight easy to blend it just makes your cheeks feel weird so i'm gonna continue using these because i really like them but i can definitely tell a lot of people would be turned off by that <laughs> The Grande Lash Lift unfortunately did not work out for me as much as I wanted it to. Maybe if you have more of a natural curl to your lash, this would be easier to use. But if you have straight stick lashes, that that's not going to fix it. Moving along, unfortunately, the Silly George items did not work out for me also. I think that this doesn't have enough pigmentation or stickiness, to be honest. And I just am not a fan of this lash style. And I mean, this was the downfall of today's look. <laughs> unfortunately. The Grande lipsticks I actually did really like and it seems to be less tingly than the blush which is interesting. They do make your lips tingle a little bit but I'm really liking the formula so far and their colors so these are getting a thumbs up and then also the new Bite Beauty Yaysay are plumping lip gloss. The formula is nice, it smells nice, it kind of tastes nice. I just don't really care for the packaging. It's not the best but it's about the product and I do enjoy this gloss. I think it's really nice. That was that. That was this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would at least consider taking the time to do so, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.